Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I crochet cute plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So long time no see, everybody. I am finally back from Italy. My trip was so incredible. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot how amazing and beautiful Europe is. The trip was really refreshing and just really, really fun. I know I mentioned that I wanted to do a travel vlog and I did shoot some footage when I was in Italy, but it's not really like a vlog style. It's just like a pan of wherever I was. So I'll definitely include those clips at the end of this video for you guys to see. But anyway, for today's video, I am going to be talking about my most used yarn and my most used pattern. I get so many comments and questions on Instagram about what kind of yarn I use, what are my most popular patterns, etc. So I thought today's video would be a perfect opportunity to kind of walk you guys through everything that I use for my plushies and what I usually make the most of. So we can start out with yarn. If you go through my Instagram feed, and I'll like put a little video of it here, you'll see that the majority of my plushies are made out of one, Bernat Velvet and two Premier Parfait Chunky. Those are my two most popular and most used yarns that I use for almost all of my plushies. Recently, I have been getting into my jumbo plushies, so my human sized turtle and my jumbo sunflower turtle. Those plushies are a little different. I do use different yarn for them, and I'll go into that later. But for now, I'm just going to walk you guys through the two yarns that I use the most. So, starting with Bernat Velvet. Oh, let me go grab it actually. Okay, so starting with Bernat Velvet, here you go. I just grabbed one of the skeins I had on hand. This is what it looks like. And I usually buy this yarn exclusively from Joann's. They carry a lot of colors and they always have super fast shipping and a lot of the colors are always in stock and on sale. So that's why I mainly use Joann's to get this yarn. And I've actually used this yarn ever since I started crocheting back last year. Like Bernat Velvet has been like my OG yarn that I use. I don't know. It's something about the velvet yarn that I just really enjoy using. Using. It like glides on the hook when you crochet and I find it so easy to crochet with I also love how plushies look using velvet yarn So that is why my style kind of evolved into you know velvet plushies and Velvet yarn so in terms of hook I always use a five millimeter hook when dealing with Bernat velvet I think on the package they recommend using a size 6.5 but usually with amigurumi you always size down your hook anyway and I found that using a five millimeter hook results in a pretty good sized plushie like I don't like my plushies being too big too small so five millimeter usually is like the perfect like regular size plushie and I don't find any problems with my stitches being loose or anything I know sometimes people run into stitches being loose and they kind of ask like oh what hook do you recommend using with Bernat Velvet and I always say five millimeter and I'll insert some pictures here of like my previous projects that I've completed with Bernat Velvet. It's like a good majority of my plushies honestly, my turtles, my dinosaurs. I use Bernat Velvet so much and I highly recommend it. Also, it doesn't really shed that much. When I talk about um, Parfait Chunky, the downside to that yarn is that it sheds so much. Like after I'm done crocheting, my floor has so much of the yarn, like fluffies, and it's usually kind of like a hassle, honestly. But with Bernat Velvet, it really doesn't shed that much. So another upside to Bernat. And I'm just gonna pan to my yarn wall right now, but as you can see, like, all of this is Bernat Velvet, and down here is a subcategory of Bernat Velvet. This is actually their baby velvet um, yarn, so it is the same as their regular velvet, but it's thinner, and that's why it's called baby velvet. And I use this for my mini plushies, so like my miniature turtles, anything mini that I want velvet, I usually use this. But yeah, it comes in so many different colors. I absolutely love all of the different colors. It's super fun to work with. And again, it's super easy if you're a beginner. I highly recommend because it really just is so easy for your hook to glide through the stitches. Like it doesn't have any friction or anything. And yeah, it is my favorite. Can we just take a second and look at Shay being all crazy on her sister's bed? Shay, baby, what's that mouse? You got that mouse? She looks so tiny on the big bed. 
Okay, so now my second most favorite and most used yarn will be Premier Parfait Chunky. And here is a skein that I have on hand. I actually just placed a big order from Premier Yarns and it just came in, so I'm excited. And that's why I have all these colors kind of on hand, but Premier Parfait Chunky, love it. I feel like the majority of plushies that you see on Instagram are made with Parfait Chunky. I think there's just something about how like the finished plushies look with Parfait Chunky that is so attractive to buyers and it really just makes the plushie look super super cute. It is more matte so like with velvet yarn you kind of have like a little shimmer to it but with this yarn it's matte so it's more I don't know how to really say it. It's just matte, like, you know, it's like more plain, but it gives the plushies a different look. And the actual yarn itself is called Chanel. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's Chanel. So it gives you that like plush look, that soft, fluffy, plush look. And I think when I first started crocheting, I always saw people using this on Instagram and I'm like, what yarn is that? It is Parfait Chunky. And I actually have a referral code down below. If you want to use my code at checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase of Premier Yarns. So yeah, I buy this yarn exclusively online at premieryarns.com. I don't think you can find it in stores, at least I can't. I think the big pro to using this yarn is that there's literally so many colors offered they offer like so many different shades of green, red, you name it. I think the downside to using Bernat Velvet is that it's very limited in their color scheme. So there's only really like one color for red, one color for orange, etc. So if you're looking to make a specific plushie with a specific color scheme or a specific color, I would definitely recommend using Parfait Chunky because they just have so many different colors to choose from. In terms of hook size, I again, I use 5mm hook exclusively for this yarn. I never try to like size up or size down just because I love the size of the finished plushie. In my opinion, I love the size of the finished plushie using a 5mm hook. My Strawberry Turtle, I'll link a picture here, is used with this yarn. Also, I'll link some other plushies that I've made with this yarn. But yeah, this is definitely one of my most used yarns. I have so much of this yarn. I have too much of it, honestly. And I, yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. The only thing is that it does shed. So just be prepared to have a lot of fluffies when using this yarn. But your end product will look so cute and so great. Okay, segueing a little into another yarn that I use. So specifically for my jumbo plushies, I try to size up to a thicker yarn because to get a plushie to become bigger, you can either size up your hook and or size up the yarn. So if I use this yarn, it's pretty thin. I think it's a size what? It's actually size six, which is super bulky, but still using a five millimeter hook, it won't really get me to that like jumbo size. So one yarn that I use to size up my plushie is Parfait XL. And you can see how much thicker this yarn is compared to their regular. And let me do a little pan right there on the screen. Yep, you can see it's pretty thick. It's almost like two times the thickness. And I use Parfait XL for my jumbo sunflower turtles and it gets them to that like really big state. And with this yarn, I love to use a nine millimeter hook. I think they recommend 11.5, but I size down to nine because I still want my stitches to be tight. And then also I don't want the plushie to be so, so big. So nine millimeter with this yarn definitely is the sweet spot in my opinion. Let me go grab one of my finished sunflower turtles and I can show you. Here you go. So using a nine millimeter hook and the Premier Parfait XL, you get a plushie around this big. And I just think it's like the perfect size. I always do my hug check, but yeah, it is literally the perfect size in my opinion, the perfect jumbo size. So that is the hook size that I would recommend using with it. And yeah, look how cute. I love it. Along the same lines as Parfait XL, Michaels also has a brand called Chanel Home. And as you can see, it is literally basically the same thing as Parfait XL. 
it is like the same thickness most of the time you can get like the same colors so Michaels carries this online as well and I do order from them online but a lot of times they are out of stock of the colors I want so that's when I go and order from Premier Yarns just because Premier Yarns usually has all of the yarn I need in stock but yeah if you're ever in a pinch or you want to try a different store Highly recommend Michaels and Chanel Home. They also have one more um, brand that is very similar to this, and that is Sweet Snuggles. Sweet Snuggles is, again, literally the same thing as Chanel Home and Premier Parfait XL. I mean, it's just different brands, but they're all essentially like the same thickness, and most of the time, it's like the same color. So if you are looking for a jumbo size plushie, definitely would recommend one of the thicker yarns, and then a bigger hook size so like nine millimeter if you want to go super crazy and super big you can even do like 10 11 it's whatever your preference is i also don't know if you can hear it but i'm a little sick right now i got sick when i was in italy and i think getting sick while traveling is the worst thing ever but i got some italian medicine and i felt better i made it but now i'm still dealing with like the lingering like stuffiness cough etc so excuse my voice if you hear it. But okay, let's jump into my most used patterns. So right off the bat, I can tell you guys that my most popular plushie slash most used pattern slash like most made item in my shop specifically are my turtles. My turtles have always been like my, kind of my thing, you know? Like if you go on my account, the majority of the plushies you'll see are turtles. And I feel like my whole kind of like aesthetic and my vibe on my account is turtles. So just wanted to preface with that. So it's actually funny because my first ever plushie was a turtle, so it was like foreshadowing. But back in the day, I used the free turtle pattern by Rose and Lily Crochet. I'll link it down below. And for my sunflower turtles, I use a pattern from Rose and Lily Crochet. It's also free and I'll link it down below. But since then, I actually wanted to kind of like tweak a few things, make my own turtle pattern. So I came out with several different patterns that I'll link down below. One of them being my strawberry turtle. That is definitely one of my best selling turtle plushies. I'll link it down below and that's my own pattern. And then the second one is my jumbo slash human sized turtle. There's actually a free tutorial that I have on my channel if you want to make it. And I also sell the PDF version and I'm just gonna link everything down below. So anything I mention in this video will be linked down below. But yeah, I have that, which is also super popular. And then lastly, I have my mini turtle and just my regular turtle. So all four of those patterns, I would consider my top four patterns that I use the most. So outside of that, let me grab my iPad and scroll through my library of patterns that I have and show you guys ones that I use all the time. Okay, so first we have this pickle pattern, and this is by Baby Cake Studios. This is definitely a very popular plushie of mine. People in the crochet community, and people even outside of the crochet community, are like obsessed with pickles. So this is definitely a pattern that I use all of the time. It's also a really good plushie to make for markets. All of my emotional support pickles sold out at my last market. So yeah, crochet pickle. Next we have the leggy froggy pattern by Not Jaded Co. I think these leggy froggies are iconic. They are like all over Instagram, all over the crochet community, and for good reason. The leggy froggies are just so adorable. I love how judgmental and kind of grumpy they are, and customers also really love them. So I make these a ton. Next is this chubby dinosaur pattern, and this is by Studio Phoebe 22. This is actually her like full size paid dinosaur pattern. She also has a free mini dino pattern that is super popular. Um, I'll link it down below and I use it all the time. But I'd say her paid full size um, dinosaur is also one of my best sellers slash most used patterns. People love dinosaurs and the chubbiness of this dinosaur makes it so cute. Next is this long-eared bunny pattern by Cute Bunny Co. And this is my go-to bunny pattern. When it's springtime and Easter is around the corner, I usually make a bunch of these and have them on my shop and they always sell out. Also, whenever someone wants a bunny made, I always use this pattern. And then of course, you have the iconic cow pattern by Rin Meow 21. 
This is one of the first patterns I purchased back when I started crocheting and it's because I literally saw everybody and their mom using this pattern. There's something about these cows that are just super popular and customers love them. So I always get so many requests to make these cows and this is definitely high up there on patterns that I use like all of the time. Next we have this penguin pattern by QK and this penguin pattern actually if you look at it she used acrylic yarn and it turned out pretty small but when I use this pattern I use my Bernat velvet yarn and a size 5 millimeter hook and it turns out like a pretty good size penguin I'll insert a picture here and when I made this penguin it like took off like crazy people love this penguin and when I first made that penguin I posted it on my Instagram and it was the first post to really take off I think it got like 15,000 likes and I was just like, whoa. And ever since I posted that picture, I've gotten so many different penguin orders. So that is my go-to penguin pattern. Okay, so the next pattern, I don't actually have it on my iPad. I have it saved somewhere else. So that's a reminder that I need to import it onto my iPad. So I'm gonna pull it up on my phone here. And it is this really adorable shark pattern. This is by Teresa's Crochet Shop. And this shark pattern is so easy to follow and it comes out so cute. The belly is actually made separately, so if you're looking at it, it looks like you have to do a bunch of color changes, but you don't. The belly is separate, so I appreciate that because color changing, like every row, it is not fun. All right, let me see what else. Okay, and then I think the last pattern that I use like consistently and it's one of my more popular plushies is this B pattern and it's actually by me. And this is actually the larger size B, but you have the option of sizing down to have it a normal size B. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. Okay, here's the normal size B. So yeah, if you purchase this pattern from my Etsy, you can make both sizes. And I think Bs are just another item in the crochet community that are iconic. Customers always want Bs. I think part of the reason why I wanted to start making plushies is because I saw a bee plushie online and I was like, I want to buy that. And then I'm like, no, I can just make it. So after I made my first turtle plushie, I then tried to make a bee. And I think bees are actually really good for beginners because it introduces you to color changes and it's still pretty basic enough where a beginner can do it. But all right, I think that brings us to the end of this video. I'll throw in some Italy clips after I say goodbye. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I have some other fun videos planned for you guys this month. I am going to be market prepping, so watch out for a future market prep video. And then also, I want to film a tutorial for you guys because it's been a while since I've done a tutorial video. So look out for another freebie tutorial video coming soon. Oh, I just remember too, thank you guys so much for 20k. I literally can't believe it. You guys are the best and I literally still read every single comment. You guys are so sweet and it's so great that you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm so happy to make them for you and yeah, I just, I can't believe it. But thank you so much again and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.